God bless you and peace of God be unto you. Peace of God be unto everyone that watching this message. But before I start my message, I want to remind every one of you that the coming of Son of Man is at hand. That Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming very soon. The word of God says, if a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. But how can a man be born again? That is the question of Nicodemus. For Jesus Christ of Nazareth make it clear for Nicodemus. And say, except a man... Be born again. When you serve God in spirit and the truth. Anyone who did not serve God in spirit and the truth. We never have a part in the kingdom of God. Simple means that every one of us must surely surrender our life back to the leadership of Jesus. Repent from our wicked way. And accept Jesus as our Lord and our personal Savior. And wait for the second coming of Jesus. It is important in your life. Salvation of Jesus is the most important thing in your life. My message today says, the enemy you see today in your life, you will never see it again. You will never see it again. If you have faith like a Moses, if you have faith like a Moses, believe the word of God. Believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth will fight for you. I want you to understand that disease and sickness you see today, you will wake up, you will not see it again because of the healing of Jesus of Nazareth in your life. Because of your faith in Christ. Because your faith is like a monster seed in Christ. You believe there is nothing God cannot do. That is why you will wake up, you will not see it again. The word of God says, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance. The Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bring you today the deliverance you will see. He said, do not be afraid because you will see the deliverance. Jesus is going to bring in your life. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is going to bring in your marriage, bring in your academic, bring in any part of your body. You are expecting salvation. You are expecting healing. The word of God said you will see that Jesus will bring it. Jesus is going to bring healing in your family, in your marriage, in your academy. Jesus is going to bring healing in whatever you are doing in your business. The word of God says that the enemy you see today, the enemy you see today, that you will never see it again. If you believe that Jesus is the Lord, if you believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is going to do something new, something marvelous, that the sins and sickness in your life is not unto death, that 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 trouble you is not unto death, but to glorify the name of Jesus, to magnify the name of Jesus, to exalt the name that is above your northern end, to prove your enemies wrong, to prove those that trouble you, those that persecuting you, Lord. That is why the word of God said, do not be afraid, brother. Do not be afraid, sister. Stand firm. I have faith like a monster seed in Christ. And believe what Jesus Christ of Nazareth is going to do in your life. The word of God says is going to bring everlasting healing in your life. Everlasting healing in your head. Everlasting healing in your kidney. Everlasting healing in your leg. In your body. Everlasting healing in your business, in your academic. In the life of your mother, your brothers and sisters. The Jesus of Nazareth is going going to play everlasting healing in whatever you are doing, everlasting healing in your mouth that you will speak again, in your eyes that you will see again, everlasting healing in your ear that you will hear clear. Though that is not hearing we hear, when Jesus brings everlasting healing in your life, when Jesus Christ of Nazareth Bring everlasting healing. That is why the word of God says fear not. The word of God says in the book of Exodus chapter 14 verse 13. Moses answered the people. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Stand fair. And you will see the deliverance. The Lord will bring you today. That Egypt and you see today, you will not see it again. That the sins and sickness you see today, you will wake up, you will not see it again because of your faith in Christ. 
That the kingdom failure you see today in your life, you will wake up, you will not see it again because of your faith in our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That the headache you see today in your life, you will wake up, you will not see it again because of your faith in Christ. The word of God said the barrenness you see in your life today, you will wake up, you will not see it again because you believe that Jesus is the Lord. The word of God said, the death you see in your life today, you will wake up, you will not see it again because you believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth can heal you. The word of God said, do not be afraid that the death spirit you see in your life today, you will wake up, you will not see it again because you believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the Messiah. The word of God says, do not be afraid, stand fair, that it's untimely death, premature death you see in your life, that moving around you, roaming around you, that you will wake up, you will not see it again. The word of God said, do not be afraid that a killing poor you see in your life, that you will wake up, you will not see it again. The word of God said, do not be afraid that stroke you see in your life, stroke you see in the life of your wife, your brothers and sisters, your mother, you will wake up, you will not see it again, because you believe that Jesus is the love. The word of God says, the miscarriage, miscarriage you see in your life, you will wake up, you will not see it again. The native daughter you see in your life, that trouble you persecuting you, you will wake up, you will not see it again. The word of God said, the children you see today, you will not see it again. The word of God says, that trouble, that suffering, that poverty that threatens you, that trouble your life, that persecuting you, that make you nobody, you will wake up and you will not see it again. What I want you to do is to believe that Jesus is the Lord. Believe that if Jesus has paid the sacrifice in the cross of Calvary. Believe that Jesus will bring his deliverance from the throne of the most cycle in your life. Believe that Jesus will connect you from the, connect you, connect your spirit, connect your body to the throne of the most cycle. Where you can receive your healing. Where you can receive your healing. Where the forces of darkness will disappear in your life. Because as long you connect yourself to the throne of the most side, no darkness, no disease and sickness will live in you. No power, no deep potion spirit, no water kingdom, no ancestral protective power, no witches and wizards will live in you. That is why the word of God says, stand firm. Believe the word of God. Do not be afraid. Do not be scared. Do not die. The Egyptian you see, the sins and sickness, the bad market you see, the word of God said you will wake up, you will not see it again. That obstacle in your life, you will not see it again. The word of God says that you will not see that disaster in your family, that disaster in your marriage, that disaster in your life, that disaster in the life of your children. You will wake up, you will not see it again. Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth have uh, decided to bring his deliverance in your life and your family. Have decided to bring his deliverance in your family and the life of your brothers and sisters. Have decided to bring his deliverance in your soul and your body. That your body will perceive the peace of the Lord, that your body will perceive the glory, the power, the anointing of the most high God. In the name of Jesus, the word of God says, the chief thing you say today, you will not see it again. That enemy that is stronger than you, stronger than your destiny, stronger than your destiny, stronger than your business, stronger than your Brothers and sisters, your family, the word of God say you will not see him again. You will not see her again. You will wake up and uh, it will be a history to tell in your life. Because the word of God promised to bring him everlasting deliverance in your life. Everlasting deliverance in your family. Everlasting deliverance in your 
body, in every part of your body, to bring a everlasting deliverance, everlasting healing, everlasting healing in your market, in your academic, in your future. When everlasting healing and deliverance take place in your life, no power can stop you. The word of God says, even the gates of hell can never prevent you. Because the word of God is true. When Jesus be with you, nobody will be against you. That is why I am asking you to have faith like a mustard seed in Christ. Believe the word of God. Believe what God can do. Because the Egyptian you see today, the word of God say, you will not see it again. You will not see it again. Because Jesus is the Lord. Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth is a great healer, a great deliverance in your life, in your family. When the deliverance of Jesus applied, appear in your life, the darkness, the sins and sickness, obstacles will disappear. Don't be afraid. Stand upon the word of God, brothers and sisters. Stand upon the word of God. Believe the reason why the Son of Man appeared. Believe the word of God. Have confidence in the word of God. Have confidence in the deliverance of Jesus. Have confidence that Jesus uh, is going to give you victory. Because he said, the word of God said, God, the most high God, being the living God, are talking to you. That the enemies you see today, you will not see it. You will never see it again. You will never see it again in your life. You will never see it again in your destiny. You will never see it again. Jesus are talking to you. That you will never see that. That trouble you. That. That evil church that trouble your life. That you will wake up. You will not see him in office. You will not see him in office. Because he's part of the enemies in your life. That evil man, that evil man that trouble you, the word of God say you will never see him or I care. The word of God say you will never see them because Jesus said, I will bring everlasting deliverance in your life. I will bring deliverance that will lift you up, that will liberate you, that will make you a free man or woman. I will bring deliverance that will do something, no something marvelous, something great and powerful in your life. A deliverance, a deliverance that will glorify the name of Jesus, that will magnify the name of Jesus, that will exalt that name that is above you in your name. Believe what Jesus can do. He will do it. He have done it before. He have done it before. The only thing that I am asking you is to have faith like a mustard seed and believe what he can do. The word of God says that Egyptian you see today, that the wicked one, Egyptian men, stand like a wicked one in your life, that you will not see it again. The obstacle, the oracle, Surround your city today. There are central protective power. There are central spirit. The spirit of the forefathers. The covenant your forefathers made. That trouble your life. Trouble your destiny. You told that no one will give you help. Jesus uh, promised to bring uh, deliverance in your life. That you will wake up. You will not see it again. May that the victory belongs to you. May that you will overcome it by the blood of lamp and the word of your testimony. What you need is to believe the word of God. Concern your destiny and your family. Believe what God can do. Do not be afraid. Jesus did not give you the spirit of fear, but he gave you the spirit of boldness, sign man, and self-control. To Overcome devil, overcome celebration and persecution, overcome the activities of darkness by the blood of lamb and the word of your testimony. Let your faith be like a mustache blooder. You will see the glory of God. The chief that you see today, you will not see it again. Have faith like a mustache. You will see what God can do. But any powers that will stand against. This message not to be afloat in your life. Let the fire from the throne of the most psycho consume the power. Holy Ghost! Fire! Let them burn to ashes. Let this message 
bear fruit in your life and let the fruit abide forever. God bless you and peace of God be unto you. Peace of God be unto everyone that believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth be help him to do something great and marvelous on earth. And those who believe that Jesus is the Lord, share this message and deliver many people and let many people know that Jesus Christ of Nazareth will be earth. I want you to share it. Don't keep it alone. As you are sharing it, God will bless you and bless every member of your family. God bless you and peace of God be unto you.